airlines go to massive expense and effort to woo their airline customers, and they have done for decades, everything from attending air shows to meeting airline executives in far-flung locations and engaging in multi-million dollar campaigns over numerous years is often involved to win the coveted airline customer contract. Of course, Boeing has honed their aircraft sales skills for decades, starting with the 707, then the 72, 73, 74, and of course the 747 Ultimate shown here. But they're not the only game in town. In the 1970s, of course, they were joined by a new kid on the block, none other than, of course, Airbus Industries. Airbus Industries opened up a North American sales office in Alexandria, Virginia many decades ago. And of course, their efforts were not only successful in the Americas, they gained massive orders both in Europe and the Middle East. If we look at the A380 marketplace on a global scale, the Middle East comprises of nearly 50% of the entire market. Of course, Emirates, which put the airplane into service in 2008, is the largest customer by a huge margin. This isn't to say that Qatar Airways is actually a small customer for Airbus. They've been a loyal Airbus customer for a number of decades. They actually started operations in January of 1994 with two A310s. As bizarre as it sounds, the Wall Street Journal reported on January the 22nd of 2022 that Airbus is actually firing Qatar as a customer. How bizarre. The strange thing is that this legal tussle between the two companies all stems from aircraft paint problems. Relating to Airbus's new A350 aircraft, of which Qatar Airways already has 19 of in service. During the pandemic, airline passenger volumes have decreased significantly around the world. As such, both Boeing and Airbus have worked diligently to keep their airline customer contracts alive. Many airlines all around the world have been backing out of their aircraft orders because of the pandemic-related travel declines. During the pandemic, Qatar Airways became the world's largest long-haul airline, and the airline's chief executive, Akbar al-Bakar has long had a tough reputation in dealing with the manufacturers when he was dealing with what he perceived to be quality control problems or delivery issues with the orders placed by his airline. 2021, Al-Akbar raised a complaint with Airbus that he felt that the paint was inferior for the A350 as it was cracking and he felt that this was a safety issue, resulting in reduced protection for the aircraft in the event of lightning strikes. In a lawsuit filed in London, England, Qatar Airways is seeking $700 million in compensation from Airbus as they have parked their A350 fleet and they have refused delivery of the next two aircraft. And from their side, Airbus has acknowledged there is a paint issue that was addressed through various maintenance correction directives that were issued to the airlines. Airbus says there never was a safety issue and it should have certainly never led to any groundings of the aircraft nor major compensation claims from the customer airlines. Furthermore, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, which is essentially the European FAA, has stated that they believe this never was a safety issue and that the matter has been successfully addressed by the manufacturer. In defending themselves against the Qatar Airways lawsuit in London, Airbus has actually said that Qatar Airways has exaggerated the paint concerns in order to get compensation for their own self-imposed groundings and the refusing of delivery of the two additional aircraft. Airbus says that Qatar Airways' refusal to take delivery of the two aircraft essentially amounts to a breach of contract. They are defaulting on their purchase agreement. And as a result of this breach, it allows Airbus to essentially cancel all contracts with the airline. Therefore, Airbus perceives itself as being well within their rights to fire Qatar Airways as their airline customer. Just like a nasty divorce, the situation is getting uglier in that on Friday, Airbus announced that they were canceling a separate deal to supply Qatar Airways with their smaller A321 jets, and that was an order for 50 aircraft. 
The A321 is a stretched version of the very popular A320 family of aircraft. The A321 and A320 is a very popular aircraft in the NEO series, especially with airlines seeking to relaunch operations in the post-pandemic world. Initial A321 deliveries were scheduled to start in 2023 to coincide with the airline's very busy passenger volumes anticipated for the FIFA World Cup in November. However, that may not happen, unless, of course, Qatar Airways and Airbus can amicably resolve their issues regarding the A350 and put the matter to rest well in advance for the A321 deliveries to commence next year. We're wishing both Airbus and Qatar Airways all the best in putting this issue behind them with much success to both companies in the post-pandemic world. In fact, so successful has it been that there's already 159 of these aircraft in service with 17 customers worldwide. Are you a die-hard av geek who loves aviation videos? Welcome to Jetflix TV, where all the aviation action is. Stream and download hundreds of aircraft action videos on all your favorite devices. Sit back, relax, and start enjoying the best in aviation action movies exclusively from the crew at Jetflix TV. See you, Rampside.